Hey Retro Gamers, welcome to another video. I'm at the Retro Palooza Swap Meet in Arlington, Texas. And it's right before the show opens and we're just gonna take a look around at the booths and all that kind of good stuff. They are selling the Retro Palooza shirts for just $5. If you're in the North Texas area, this is a great show. Retro Palooza does shows in Houston, Arlington, and beyond. And this is a swap meet. But there are a ton of vendors here, including two of my good buddies. And you hey, are, sir? Jedi Cole, Cole Houston. Hi, everybody. Jedi Cole and, and Catherine. Mrs. I feel pain. <laughs> Catherine, Mrs. Jedi Cole. Hi, All everybody. Right. Sorry about the Beauty and the Beast reference. That's very dated. <laughs> Lots of awesome stuff here. Guys, y'all have a great show. Hi. Hello there. Hello. All right, all kinds of toys here. This is awesome. Ninja Turtles. Amazing, off the charts. Yes. I love boxes I can dig through. That's my kind of table. All right, thanks. Have a great show. Thank you. All right, we finally get to the upper class vendors over here. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. I do feel pain. Love y'all. Love you. Do feel pain? Yes. Y'all are the greatest. Excuse my mirth making. Ooh, there's a flash toy that I desperately need, but I'm here to make money, so I probably won't buy it. All kinds of statues, action figures, all kind of great stuff. The show has vintage and new stuff. It's awesome. Like I said, it's called a swap meet, but the vendor's room is really, really huge. There's three or four separate areas. Always cool to see DVDs, physical media at these shows. Including Buffy, one of my favorite shows of all time. Hope you guys don't mind the intrusion. I have done Retro Palooza shows since the very beginning. I think they've been going on about, what, seven or eight years now? The swap meet started up within the last couple of years and not really guests or gaming, you know, to play games. You're here just to buy and sell. Never know what you'll find here. Just $5 to get in, which is a total bargain. Excuse my slightly muffled voice. I'm masking it up we're being very safe at the retro palooza swap meet action figures from seemingly every film ever filmed how's that for redundancy ooh cheryl ladd nice and kate jackson the smart one space 1999 very cerebral sci-fi show from back in the day awesome vintage figures very cool there are more old toys here than I thought there would be. Excellent. Dynamite. That looks like good times with the dynamite, but I think that's just a, I don't know what that is. Old Mego figure, but. Very cool. Hottest band in the world, Kiss. And the Beatles. Tons of cool stuff, including the old superpowers and Secret Wars figures. Wow, I remember these back in the 80s. The first superhero line that I really got into when I was a kid, I, don't, I didn't have any of the Migos. All right, let's go to another room. This is at the Bob Duncan Center in Arlington. Pretty cool place for a convention. Reasonable rates. Table prices are good. It's only five bucks to get in, like I said. And there are several rooms. 
chock full of games and toys and other good stuff. Honestly, because I had so much of this. Just, Here we go. And I'm Sega. like back here that's just like, yeah, I don't have room for it. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Good. How are you, Brad? Doing great. Thank you. A ton of stuff here, including Turbo and CDI. Gotta love the CDI. Or not. Or maybe. Always cool to see imports. Turbo PS1 and Dreamcast. You're not supposed to let life get in the way of video game fun. <laughs> Ooh, some Primo N64 there. Don't see that game every day. Never even played that one. I'm not saying something. I feel like I've played everything. Which is probably impossible. More turbo. Awesome. Wacky Race is one of my favorite cartoons when I was a kid. Not a bad game either. Godzilla! I don't know if you guys have seen that uh, new Godzilla vs. King Kong movie or whatever it's called. Looks freaking awesome. The punch in the face sold me on it for sure. Oh cool, got some art here. Excellent. Hello sir. Hey, how's it going? Good. Got the Lizard King here. Isn't that what he called himself? Jim yeah. Morrison? Yeah. Oh yes. I was like, that doesn't sound right. Old guy got your bag. That's right. This is Mr. Oak right there. Yes sir. You're right. That's badass. I went to his childhood home and uh, Cemetery we visited, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yeah, we shared the same favorite restaurant in Dallas. Everybody's getting ready for the show. This is a few minutes before um, the show really. starts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, always great to see the 32X represented. How's it going? Hey. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Something tells me these MVS games are not going to be super cheap. Not super cheap, but they're not crazy expensive. Not either. crazy. That's good to hear. Yep. Interesting game, Zaxxon's Mother Base 2000. Zaxxon's sequel that's exclusive to the 32X. That's really nice. Kind of a disappointing game. Space Harrier 32X, on the other hand, is a ton of fun. Great stuff, guys. Thank you. Thanks. All right, now we are entering the biggest room. Boy, there's something for just about every game console here. I haven't seen the RCA Studio 2 yet, but I haven't gone through the whole room yet, so we'll see. How are you guys? Good, how are you doing, sir? Sorry to, <laughs> sorry to interrupt you. Oh, no problem. We're very NES heavy here, which is awesome. Back there. Ooh, yeah. This will be the first convention where I have my new NES book, so it's always good to see lots of NES stuff. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a great show. Thank you, too, buddy. Oh, I love this. I'm not a huge. Hey, how's it going? Doing good, doing good. Great. I'm not a huge Pokemon fan, but that is awesome. I would love to have that. Got up late today. Oh, did you? Came the two and a half hour drive. Where from? Abilene. Abilene. Wow, that is a stretch. Did you get rained on? Nah, just when we came into town. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, good deal, man. Have a great show. You too. Thanks for coming out. Retro Madness. Really cool store in the mid cities area between Dallas and Fort Worth. Awesome in Bedford to be specific. Sorry, getting in the way, you guys, trying to set up. have some, 
when it's under glass, you know it's going to be good or at least rare. Rubble of Lust, excellent shooter, one of my favorites. Had a lot of fun playing Toe Jam and Earl with my son when he was young. Great stuff. Super Bomberman too, wow, that's a great one. Ooh, a graded game, Metroid. 8.5, nice. There's something here for every budget. I've seen, you know, tubs of super cheap games all the way up to graded and super rare games. Awesome stuff. This is gonna be a great show. And I will end this video in a few minutes uh, at my booth. So you guys hang on so you can check it out. How I've got my setup. It's my first show since March. I've really missed going to gaming conventions. It's one of my favorite things to do. Not just to sell games, but just to see everybody. I miss my gaming buddies. Online is just not the same. And of course, gotta have pop figures. No convention is complete without an assortment of pop figures. <laughs> How's it going, gentlemen? Very good. How do you think you're gonna do today? You gonna sell out? I'm hoping to make at least a grand. Excellent, excellent. Well, good luck. The complete Zelda animated series. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've never seen that. Even though I do like me some old school Zelda. Ooh, this is cool. Old Pong Clon. Always love to see those. There were so many. I don't recall seeing this one. There were probably at least 200 Pong clones back in the day. I think I've heard that, that there were well over 200. Oh, nice. Puzzles, toys, games, everything a nerd could possibly want in life. N64, very well represented. I like that gold Wii controller. That's awesome. Have a great show, man. Thank you. Thank you. Even got some records and board games. All kinds of interesting things. All right. So after this, we've got, I believe, one more room to go through, which is where I'm set up. Scoob, that movie is streaming now. I haven't seen it yet. I've been waiting for an opportunity to watch it with the family. Kids are grown, but we still like some Scooby-Doo. Wow, that's a really good deal on that Jaws pop toy. Mystery Machine, one of the most iconic cartoon vehicles of all time. One of the most iconic pop culture vehicles. Next to the Batmobile, perhaps. I've seen this at Target, and it's been very tempting. A flash toy I don't have. Hmm. Always great to see the Intellivision represented. Cool puzzle game, locomotion. <laughs> How's it going? Good, pretty good. Good. You all ready? We're ready. We're ready. I'm gonna make sure I get my mask on. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be fun to have a mask on all day. Yeah. I'll but go. you know, got to do what you got to do. Good luck, have a good show. All right, thank you. You bet. Charlie, that's your jolly. That's mine, yeah. I'll do the same.
it's out of the way. I thought I'm going to have to be careful today <laughs> that I make more than I spend. Uh, see, I'm having that problem already. Uh, <laughs> I've only spent $5 so far, so, so far so good. I love these little stand-ups, these little tabletop arcade games. They are so cool. All right, guys, good luck. There you go, bargain bins, love it. Hey. I'm gonna have to come back here in a minute and see what there is to see. Maybe dig through some boxes. All right, here we go. This is the last room, and this is where I'm set up. Got people guided in with my signage here. We will end at my booth. Awesome stuff. How are you guys doing? Good. Very good to hear. Tons of action figures at this show. Maybe more than video games. It's a close, close call. Y'all have a good show. And we're at the cute, awesome, cool table. How are you guys? Glad to hear it. So, uh, is this your first Retropalooza of any kind? No. You've done many of them? Yes. I thought uh, you guys looked familiar. No matter what. Were you at the first one at this at this place back like seven or eight years ago? I was, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was, yeah, me too. I was right there. Awesome. Y'all have a great show. There we go, pardon. Ah, oh, we got Donkey Kong set up. Excellent. From Mr. Holt the Slacker Slack. Is that what they call you, Holt the Slacker? Only you. Only me? Yeah. So how's it going today, sir? It's going great. We're I am digging the shirt. Show. Yes, this was for the canceled Texas Pinball Festival uh, 2020. Sad, yes. sad. In, in memoriam. Right, yeah. Yeah. Well, luckily, this is the first show I've done since March, so luckily there's something to do here, that's right. so that's awesome. Yep. And you know, I've seen a ton of great stuff here. What is the coolest thing you have here for sale? Boy, it really just depends. They're probably the rarest thing I have. I have all this, some of this Japanese stuff that I used to collect. Oh my gosh, wow. Complete red, blue, green, gold, silver, crystal, all the complete in box from Japan. And then this uh, DS Lite. It was a Pokemon Center exclusive from Tokyo. Nice. Uh, yeah, this so is downsizing from your collection? This is. It's Excellent, man. Well, good closets. luck. Hopefully you sell out. You too, brother. Oh, yeah. So let's get uh, to my booth here shortly. Man, you've got cool stuff at your booth. <laughs> my booth is just kind of meh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's my backdrop here. I'm kind of uh, utilizing the facilities shelving. And I do have my new book, the NES Omnibus Volume 1 for sale along with my older books, of course. Free bookmarks. And I have some junk here that nobody's gonna want. But hopefully I'll sell a few books. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing. I've been coming to Retropalooza since the very first show, which was, gosh, I don't even remember, seven or eight years ago. And it has been an awesome, experience at every show. I've, I've uh, sold a lot of stuff, made a lot of friends, and had a blast. So guys, let me know in the comments if you've been to Retropalooza before and some of your Retropalooza experiences. Uh, it's put on by the Game Chasers, Billy and Jay. So uh, you can talk, you can let me know uh, what your thoughts on the Game Chasers YouTube channel is as well. I have a lot of fun watching their show. All right guys, we will talk to you in another video. Take care.